Today, we're going to debunk one of the popular and main terms of endearment. And it is evil tongue. Let's talk about it. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Closer to God Ministries, where we push forward in the kingdom of the Most High Yah. Closer to God Ministries is for those who really want to learn true submission, true obedience, reverence, and a fear of the Most High Yah. One thing about Closer to God Ministries is I'm not afraid to push the envelope. There's a lot of things that go on in the world that need to be addressed, but religious leaders won't talk about it. Closer to God Ministries, I'm pushing forward. Each man must be convinced in his own mind. I'm going to give you the disclaimer. This is not for everybody. If you're somebody that has a soft spirit, a sensitive spirit, you don't like that hard truth that can set you free, this is not for you. But if you choose to stay tuned, don't just run off on the plug with my content. Hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, turn your notifications on so you can see when I'm posting new content. And then if you really want to support the channel, check out the doggone link in the description for some exclusive discount codes. Roll that beautiful bean footage. What's going on Closer to God Ministry? Welcome back to another Righteous Spirit-Filled episode. Today, I hope to help you get closer to the truth, closer to the kingdom, and closer to the will of God. Hallelujah, amen. We got to give him all the glory, all the praise, all the honor, because he is truly deserving of it. Today, we're talking about what? Evil tongue. Evil tongue and the terms of endearment. Which actually people use a lot. Okay, so are you familiar with the N-word? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to use it in a teaching setting because I want people to see this. I want you to understand what the word is and how angry it can make people, you know, become and why we shouldn't use it. When you think about the N word, when people use this as a term of endearment, and a lot of times that I've talked to young people about using this word, I realized that I was contradicting myself because I was a user of this word. I used to refer to my older brother as this. I used to refer to people that, you know, I was friends with, I was associated with, co-workers. I used to refer to them as the N-word. And we're talking about the word nigger, okay? And I'm using this, I'm using this as a teachable, teachable moment because just like my daughter said, Dad, most of us, we hear this word and we don't say anything about it. We just let it fly. So what do you want to say about the N-word? Where have you heard it? I've heard it from Grandma and Uncle Daniel. Have you heard it from me? I think so. Yep, because Daddy's guilty of it. Daddy is guilty of using the N-word because I didn't know better. And I want to tell you something that, you know, a lot of times I would get mad if anybody other than my ethnicity, anybody other than my race, you know, was calling me this word. I would get offended. But how can you get offended when you're using this as a term of endearment? I want you to think about a lot of the black on black crimes and killing each other. They're not walking around calling each other brother, sister. They're not doing this. They're calling each other the N word. But when somebody corrects them, they say it's a term of endearment. But let them get into a heated conversation. I guarantee you the mindset would change. The programming would change if you had that gun pointed at it. and You like, brother, I'm going to kill you. That doesn't register right. But when you say it in a manner that was never intended for it to be demeaning and you say N word, I'm going to kill you, then that's just fuel to the fire. And you next thing you know, you pull that trigger and you've committed murder. We got to get away from using these false terms of endearment because there is no endearment there. There was no endearment there in the beginning and there isn't any endearment now. Well, when people use guns, they use it in a bad way. But guns could actually save people's life if we use it the right way. And today I'm talking about evil tongues. So I'm just here to help my dad and stuff. And I just want to say one thing. Quit playing with your hair and all that. This just... Girl, you, you trying to get the views up. No, get the message out. Evil tongue is when you say bad words and say bad things. Okay. And the N-word is a popular term of endearment, but it's one of those popular words that, you know, a lot of people that look like me, a lot of people in my culture, they're out saying this stuff. Their kids hear it, but they never teach them any different. And their kids growing up getting offended when they hear that word. If you take the power away from that word and you don't use it, when somebody else calls you that word, you realize that that's just them dealing with a demon. That's them with an evil tongue, but you don't have to play into it. Today, I want to read you a scripture from James chapter 1, verse 26. If anyone thinks he is religious and does not brittle his tongue, but deceives his heart, this person's religion is worthless. If you consider yourself a person of faith, 
a believer in God, a religious person, your religion isn't worth crap if you have deceived your heart by saying, okay, just because I'm talking to another black male or African-American male, that it's a term of endearment because I'm using it. I'm privileged to be able to use this word. No, that word is painful. And I guarantee you our ancestors that were hanged and lynched on them trees wouldn't appreciate your terms of endearment, but they're not here to tell you about it. They had to pay the price for your terms of endearment. The next scripture my daughter is gonna read is gonna be from 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 10. Speak okay, up. Okay, guys. Um, for whoever desire, desires to, to love life and see good days, let him keep his tongue from evil and his lips from speaking what does that say? Deceit. Deceit. Read it one more time. For whoever desires to love life and see good days, let him keep his tongue from evil and his lips from speaking deceit. So that's saying keep your tongue from speaking evil and speaking deception. Every time... I say that I'm offended by the N-word. Every time I say that or I tell a young person or I tell my daughter that she shouldn't use the N-word and I'm up here using it, justifying my sin, justifying my deceit, this is wrong. We have to get away from using these terms of endearment. Don't forget to comment, like, and what? Subscribe. Subscribe. Check out the link in the description because we're only shooting it. Gun straight. Bow.